exercise 10. In this exercise, we take a look at kind of a real-world scenario. We actually have uh, what looks like an MP3 player here, and it's, import, it's an imported model from a different CAD system, and it's halfway done, or it's un, uh, basically more than halfway done, but it's unfinished, and we have to go ahead and finish this. So this is kind of a real-world scenario. This is kind of what your boss would give you or if you were working for a consulting firm. And what we need to do is just follow directions that were written down by the, the boss. So here's a isometric print of it. You can see there's basically one, two, three, four, five, about five basic steps. First thing, model the LCD screen. Then you could create the boss that holds the earphone case on. It's basically a fl it flips out. And then we have here mate a double A battery into the socket, so we'll have to do that. And also we have to go ahead and add the ribs that you see in here and create a shelled out part with a lip that goes around the outside that's about a hundred thousandths high, fifty thousandths thick. So let's take a look at that. You would basically go to File Open and you would find under your sample files Pro E 10 and you'd find the E10 MP3 assembly. Open that up and this is what you should get. Now to start us off, we'll go ahead and insert a new part. We'll actually make the ear of the uh, LCD screen here first. So to do that, we could go over to um, over here on the, on the right hand side and we'll find the create option. So we go to create and we'll call this the LCD I'm going to call it the LCD2 for liquid crystal display. And it's going to be a part in the solid. So we'll hit OK. Now it wants to prompt us, do we want to create the creation method? Basically, we want an empty um, part that's dropped in here. Nothing, we don't have anything to add to it. So just select empty and hit OK. And we'll see it illuminate. It's over here on the left hand side. We could just actually right click on it and select activate. And what we want to do here is we're going to go ahead and sketch on a surface. And we want to sketch on the surface of the PC board that you see here, where you see the Intel DSP. We're looking at the back side because the LCD screen is going to be mounted on the back of that. So just select that face. And we could select a reference. We could select this edge as a reference and hit sketch. OK, a couple extra references. We could select this edge here the actual hole that it's going to be fit into. We can also select a um, horizontal or vertical, some uh, planes that are there. The more the better. Anyhow, now that we've selected those, we could hit close. And we want to go ahead and add um, a circle to this. So we could go over here to the concentric, select this edge, and draw out a circle. Now let's make it a little bit less than the actual diameter so you don't want it to necessarily snap or else that would be line to line. We need to give ourselves a little bit of clearance. And so we can see here, I will hit OK and make sure that this is at, this is a two inch diameter hole I believe. So we'll make it to actually 1.9, give it some clearance there. And now we could uh, hit the done button and extrude it. Now the extrusion methods that we have available to us, if we just go ahead and extrude it flat like that, it's not going to look very nice. We want it to follow, or we were instructed to have it follow the contour of the outside of this bean-shaped MP3 player. So if we take a look at some of the options here, we have um, up to a surface. So we could select that. And then just select the surface. And in the preview, we don't see actually um, much other than it actually extruding up to that point. But once we hit OK, you can see it will actually adapt and follow to the contour of the bean. And then go ahead and add a chamfer on there, just on the edge here, of 0 0.05, and hit Apply. OK, that is our LCD. Done. You don't have to add anything more. The rest will be handled by the electrical engineers. So right click on the E10 MP3 and activate that. It should bring back our geometry. And so that's our LCD screen. 
Okay, the next thing that we want to do is we're going to go ahead and we want to add the boss to this red part. Okay, so to do that, you can see there's actually a, a, a hole right there already in position for us. We just have to make sure that we're editing the proper part. So actually, if we click on the red part, and then hold down right click on it, we'll hit activate. And if you hit over here, it's actually called the original 36. It's just the model number. And now what we want to do is we actually want to sketch on this surface over here. So we'll go to sketch. I selected that flat face. And for the um, reference, we could actually select uh, our planes. Hit sketch. You could select a couple planes here. And actually select the edge, just like we did last time, of this circle. Then hit close. And again, we could go over here to concentric, select the edge, draw a concentric circle, make sure it's not equal to, hit OK. And just make sure that this is set to um, point zero. OK, apparently what happened here is we're actually out of scale. That's OK. We could scale it later on. Um, I'll set it to point zero. 05. Uh, a little bit big there. Point zero, zero 0.002. Somewhere in between there. Point zero zero 0.003. Okay. And then go ahead and hit the apply. And we'll extrude that. So we just go to extrude. And now from here, let's just actually give ourselves a visual interpretation here. We have that's ten thousands. Um, fortunately, when this was imported, um, I, f I neglected to double check the dimensions, and probably must have automatically defaulted to a metric conversion from an inches to metric, and so we'll have to reconvert it backwards, which isn't the problem. So for right now, just make that point zero zero eight. Good enough. Hit apply. And so we have our boss in position. And we could go back to editing the E10 assembly. So right click on it, that, and hit activate. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we have to start working on the backside part here. Or what? Actually, while we're here, we could probably go to setup. So under edit, go to setup and change the units. And looks like maybe we have to do it in reverse. So it's already set to inch pound second. Let's close that for right now. We'll figure that out later. Maybe it's the opposite. Anyhow, let's go ahead and edit the backside part now. So I'll click on this part then right click on it and open it. Okay, And from here, let me scale down my screen. We're going to go ahead and shell it as it's requested. So we'll go and select the shell tool. And we'll make it 0 0.007 thick. And select this face. That's yeah, too thick, actually. Maybe five thousandths. And hit apply. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a little lip on this face. So we could go to start a sketch, select that face. We'll select our plane as a reference. And then for the additional references, you could select this plane here and hit close. Now what we're going to do is we're going to steal these edges and offset. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and find the offset tool which is right here. We're going to select loop, select this face, so make sure loop, and then hit next until you see the inside light up blue, like a dark blue, and hit accept. 
and actually um, I must not have, uh, we have to enter the offset so for 0 0.005 it'll be 0 0.0025 hit enter make sure the arrowhead was pointing out if not you could type in a negative number and then hit close and then we'll just use the next option here which is use which takes existing edges could actually do a single here because it's a spline uh, apparently not we'll just have to go um, and select all the edges here and hit close and from here we should be able to extrude this so we hit done and we'll go ahead and extrude this and make it 0 0.003 And there's our lip. Now when we go back to the assembly, we just go to Window, E10, MP3. And now we could actually see the assembly there. And from now, what we'd like to do, what I'd like to do now actually is hide one of these components. In this case, this top case, which is the original 36. You can right click on that and we have an option to hide it. And now we can see the geometry inside here. And actually we could put the battery in as well. Might as well take care of that. We could hide the original 12 part, which is the back side. Right click on that hide. And then we'll drop in the battery. And the battery is going to be an imported entity. So we'll just go to over here, the assemble, find the AA battery listed here, and hit open. And you can see it's not perfect, it's actually um, it has some surface issues, but we could still use it as a representation here. The topology is good enough in a wireframe mode. So we'll actually go and select the cylindrical face here and align it to the cylindrical face. Let me zoom out here, right here. And then select this end face and align it to this face. And make sure you set it to coincident. And there's our battery. If you go to wireframe, you could probably, might make a better representation for us. Or maybe not. There we go. All right, so we've got that done now. Let's bring back the original 36, which is the, actually, oh, I opened it up. Didn't necessarily want to do that. That's the wrong one. There we are. We wanted to get to the uh, original 12 part. And bring that back. So I'm going to go back to the assembly, bring that back in. So I'm going to right click here and unhide it. All right, next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we create some ribs that are called out by our boss here. These ribs that you see right in that area. And they're just to retain the battery in place when the bezel is attached. So to do that, we could we need to edit that part. So we have to go ahead and select that. That's the original 12. Right click and activate it. Go to the sketch tool and select this bottom surface here. And for reference, you could select any one of the datums that are available and go next. Now it's going to allow us to select more references. The more the barrier here, let's go ahead and select a lot of these for this outer edge where the Duracell text is. That's going to assist us when we're actually trying to draw the geometry in that we need. So now I could go over here and go to the rectangle tool, glide up to this corner and draw out a rectangle here, and one here, and just make sure that we have this set to 0 0.003, actually we'll go 0.002, and we have two rectangles now. 
The next thing we want to do is we want to extrude those up to where they touch the opposite side of the tray that's holding the battery in place on the circuit board. So from here we could go ahead and we'll hit apply and we go to extrude. Let me so don't go to the extrude tool and we'll select over here there's an option that's up to vertex or selected entity. So we could select that if you look here, we'll select this little corner here, and we'll know to go up to that and stop and apply. Okay, so we have bosses, but now we have to cut out for the battery. So for that, we could go to Sketch, start a sketch on this surface, and might want to go to Wireframe for this. We can see the battery right there, and all we have to do is take the concentric circle, drag it out, we'll make it the same size, click, middle click, and if we go back to shaded mode, we can see we just drew a circle there. And we could hit done and extrude that. We'll flip it so it extrudes over the battery and just have it go up to let's see, up to a selected curve. So this back edge here, so we don't want it to go through the whole part. And make sure you hit remove material before you hit enter and hit apply. And now we've made the little cutouts for it. Let's go back and take a look at that. We could um, right click and we'll go to um, open. Actually, it is open. Sorry. Just right click original 12. And there it is. Our little tray is done. Go back to window and find the assembly. Bring back the original 36, which is select on hide. And we are done.